watch and Panina Monet for makeup and hair in all things pretty. What's up, everybody? It's your girl Panina Monet, and I am back with a February slash March product haul. So I got some beauty products and I got a couple hair products and yeah, I got quite a few items. So hopefully this video isn't going to be super long. And if you want to see what I collected from Sephora and Ulta, but my Ulta bag's over there and I already sat down and I don't feel like getting up. But if you want to see what I got from Sephora and Ulta, keep watching. Pew, pew, pew. So the first couple products I'm going to talk about are some... Fo Really? <laughs> oh, you're so nasty. <laughs> anyway, um, first couple products that I'm going to talk about, excuse my disgusting four-year-old, are some foundations that I just picked up. The first one is the Becca, what is it called, Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream. And I got the shade Amber. Amber, Amber, and this is probably a really, really good match. Like, this is really good for right now. I have no clue what it's gonna look like in the summertime. Hopefully, I don't tan too much so that this won't be too light. Um, so that this will be too light. Hopefully, it won't. But yeah, so this is what I got, and this is a full coverage. When I say full coverage, this is full coverage. And I did try out a little bit of it. I wanted to see basically what it looks like on my skin at home. Because when you're in the store, everything looks like, you know, nice. But when you get home, it's like completely different. So yeah, I wanted to see what this was going to look like. And it looks pretty good. This is not an everyday wearable foundation because it is so thick. So this is like special occasion foundation. So when you're trying to go out with the booski or you're hanging out with your girls, this is the foundation that you wear. And I've seen a lot of reviews on this saying that it's really hard to blend out. And I played around with it. I am going to film a tutorial on this, but I played around with it. And what it seems like works the best is if you only apply a little bit and get a beauty blender and like blend it in. The brush is like too much coverage. And I guess it really depends on how much coverage you want. If you want full, full coverage or if you want like kind of medium you know medium just a buildable kind of coverage you need to definitely use a blender beauty blender real technique sponge off brand sponge any some other brand sponge whatever use a sponge it definitely works out very well and if you put it on with your hand like rub it on with your hand first and then go in and stipple it makes a hell of a difference i promise it does but like i said i'm going to do a video on it so you guys can see it and you guys let me know what you think all right, so the next foundation that I picked up, which is what I'm wearing right now, this is the NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint, uh, and this is in the shade Medium Dark 1 Malaga. I'm combination, so around the outer parts of my face, I'm normal. Not really dry, but I'm normal, and in the center of my face, it's like freaking oil slick land like it's so oily right up in here in the t-zone i don't understand why it's so oily and dry around the side the outer size or normal on the outer size but whatever it's neither here nor there but it doesn't work if your skin is like really really oily and then again it could be the moisturizer that i use so i'm i am going to try it again and see you know if it works or if it does the same thing with a completely different moisturizer um and then i'm going to update you guys on that on my snapchat which is Panina Monet, that's my name on Snapchat, so it's P-A-N-I-N-A-M-O-N-A-E. So follow me on Snapchat if you're not already following me. Also follow me on Instagram if you're not already following me. So the um, next foundation that I picked up is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Coca. Yes, in Coca. Now, I tried all three of these on. Okay, I didn't wear them long, but I just put them on my skin to see what it was like. And out of all three of them, I actually like this one the best which is crazy right because this one was only like $4.99 why is it that the cheapest foundation looks better than the two higher end foundations and both of these are like 40 something I think the NARS was like 45 and then this was like 46 maybe I'll leave it down below and I actually link the links to where you can purchase this um, and the price and all that stuff down below but yeah the craziest thing is the freaking wet and wild looks the best like it, the color is like almost dead on like if it's not dead on dead on it might be because you know I got a couple burns you know on this side it's kind of burned up but 
that might be the only reason why it's not spot on spot on but this is my color like and this foundation is so freaking pretty i have not worn it all day so this one will be reviewed as well i'm gonna do a whole new foundation series where i start you know reviewing stuff for people that really do have oily skin you know combination oily like hella oily i'm going to be doing that so i can let you guys know what works for me and what doesn't if your skin is similar to mine you can you know kind of get what i get <laughs> all right so that's it for the foundation so i'm going to move into uh this elf cream contour palette and this is, ooh, what a box. Where is the box? I don't remember. This is like, um, no, that's not it. Why are you whispering? This one is, freak. I think this is like medium or something like that. But these are the colors. So it has a little yellow color. Uh, this is like a cool brown. And these two are warmer browns. So I use these three. I don't use that one because it looks like I look like Casper the Friendly Ghost. But uh, yeah, so I use these three. And this is a really, really, really nice cream contour palette. Like it blends hey, out very. Casper's Mikey. Girl, if you don't be quiet. <laughs> it blends out very well. You can do it with a brush, your fingers, or a sponge. This is a really, really good product. And I got this one from Target, and I think it was like $6 or something like that. But yeah, so if you haven't tried their little contour palettes and their foundation palettes and all that stuff, check it out. Like, the good stuff. I love drugstore uh, foundations and makeup and all that good stuff. I love it. Like, who, who doesn't want a budget? You know what I'm saying? Who doesn't want to be freaking sleek? Not, I'm talking about sleek. Oh, my God. Who wants to be fleek? out you know what i'm saying slaying it like cutting beezies up and stuff with inexpensive makeup products who doesn't i don't know all right so anyway moving right along i also picked up this benefit industrial strength concealer which i don't need no extra strong concealer like this but i got it anyway and this is in boing boing and the color is four and taking it out of the package this stuff i use to conceal under my eyes it is thick 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 like this stuff is so freaking thick like oh my gosh it is this is probably the thickest concealer i've ever dealt with it's so thick but when i tell you it looks good it feels good and it cuts that darn them darn eyebrows up so good Ooh. This is a good investment. And I got this from Ulta. And I think this was like $24, $26 maybe. Don't quote me. My memory is horrible. I honestly don't remember. But yeah, so anyway, if you haven't tried this, I think this is a really, really good product to try. So I think you should definitely give it a go and see how you like it. Especially if you want to look, especially if you want to use cream concealers underneath your eye. Yeah. Okay, so the next product that I got is this Wet n Wild. What is this? I haven't even opened this up. Mega Glow Makeup Stick. It's a contour stick, and this is in the shade Call Me Maple. 805 Call Me Maple. Haven't used this yet, uh, but when I do my Wet n Wild tutorial, I'm going to be using this bad boy to see how it works. And I got this from Walgreens. And I think it was like $4.99 something like that so I never use it don't know how it works but I will keep y'all updated oh, moving right along the next product is this can you stop looking at me like that? I'm trying to record the next product I have is this wet and wild mega glow highlight powder and this is in the shade if I can see what shade is this oh precious petals this is in precious petals this is beautiful oh my gosh like that's what it looks like and swatching it that's what it looks like that is so freaking pretty let me go up some oh that is so pretty and this thing was like maybe four four and some change or something like that i don't freaking remember but it was inexpensive and it was really really good it's like up there with the high-end highlighters i finally got the uh Too faced sweet peach alani i'm trying to record okay if you want to see my mommy makeup video or my makeup video my makeup video see in the comments Oh my gosh. If you want to see a makeup video from me, write it down in the comments. If you want to see a makeup video from Milani, write it down in the comments because somebody just decided that they just had to be all up in my video. Yep. Also, take the comments up though, up below, and take the comments and delete what? all your videos. Oh my god. Can, can I have my video back? 
then see But can I have my video back? And then see my video? But can I have my video back? And your kids will my time. But can I but can I have my video back, please? Thank you. Anyway, any anyway, get off of my lights, girl. Get off of my oh. lights. <laughs> anyway, I gotta just <laughs> Don't have no kids, girl. I got the. I have this sweet peach, Too Faced Sweet Peach Creamy Peach Oil Lip Gloss, and this is also in Papa Don't Preach. I have it over my uh, Alani. Seriously, I'm about to kick you out. I'm about to kick you out for real. Be quiet. This is what it looks like. It has like this little squishy peach sticker at the top. Feels super good. Um, and this is, like I said, in Papa Don't Preach. And I have this over my lip stick that I'm going to talk about in a second. But I ate and then I had some a smoothie and yeah, it kind of like rubbed off some. So I gotta refresh. Oh, it smells so good. Oh my gosh. Gotta refresh that. But yeah, so I picked this up from Ulta. This was $19. Um, I was going to get the other ones, but this one I really liked the most. And then the other shades that I wanted, they didn't have them in stock. So I just went ahead and got this bad boy and called it a day. But this is really, like, it's really, really good. It smells good. It feels good on the lips. So far, I've been wearing it for a couple hours. And you know how sometimes lip glosses are kind of tacky. This one is not tacky whatsoever. Of course, it's a lip gloss, so it does transfer. So if you drink, you eat, whatever, it's going to wipe off. So just make sure you can pop it in your purse, keep it with you, and yeah, refresh them. <laughs> refresh the lips. I went to Sephora to get these and they are the Huda Beauty or Huda Beauty Lip Liquid Lipsticks. It's liquid matte. Uh yeah, liquid matte. And I got the shade Flirt, which is this one. Let me swatch it really quickly. Which it looks freaking beautiful. This is Flirt right here. This is like a, a mauve, like a mauve color, a deep mauve color. Super pretty. And these smell good too. Like I don't even know what's up with all these products and these scents, but I love it. I like it from now on. If your product don't have a scent and it's going right up in this area under here or right up in here, it needs to smell like something. If it doesn't, I don't even know if I'll be purchasing it. I don't know. I'm just kidding. But yeah. Okay, so this one is the one that I have on today. And this one is trendsetter it's really no need for me to swatch it because I have it on my lips but I will swatch it anyway and this one is like a brownish peachish color and this is probably my favorite shade out of the two but both of them are freaking gorgeous they smell good they feel good out of all the liquid lipsticks that I have really not many um uh, Colourpop, Anastasia Beverly Hills um I think Trust Fun, Trust Fun Beauty, and probably two other brands. I can't remember. I can't remember them off top. I have a couple Mac one, not Mac. Hmm. I don't remember the name. Anyway, out of all of them, this one feels the best. This one does not feel like you have on liquid, liquid lipstick. It actually feels like you have on just regular lipstick. It's moisturized and it smells good. Um, so far. I think it does transfer. Um, I don't know if that was just the gloss itself or if it was a liquid lip, lip, the liquid lip along with the gloss. But whichever way it transfers, that's the only thing about it. But other than that, it feels good. It doesn't make your lips feel dry. All right, so moving right along, I picked up the Laura Mercier translu translucent setting powder. This is really good. This is a really, really, really good uh, setting powder. Uh, everything that you heard about it, it's accurate. It works really good. Um, the only thing that I can say is, even though I'm oily in the t-zone i've never found a product that actually stops me from getting oily so i won't say that it helps you do that i won't even say that it helps you stay matte all day maybe it does but for me it doesn't like i said all the powders do the same exact thing but the way this one feels the one thing that i can say is different between this and the rest of the powders that i use is this one kind of feels moisturizing a little bit it's like a weird texture it doesn't feel like dry powder it actually feels kind of it feels moist kind of and when I put it on it doesn't make me instantly dry looking you know what I'm saying like I really like that I don't like my face to look matte I like it to be a demi matte or even just a little dewy but not like greasy dewy you know what I'm saying but I really do like this and this is probably going to be one of my staple um, setting powders unless I can find one that gives me the same feel give me gives me the same look that's a little bit more inexpensive but as of right now I think I will stick to the Laura Mercier and the Big Nine. I picked up the Melanie Mills Hollywood Body Gleam Radiance in Rose Gold. This is so friggin' pretty. And I thought this was, um, 
Sandra Deluxe's uh, collaboration with them, but hers is peach. But I picked up the rose gold, and the rose gold is really, really nice. So you already know, this summer when it's beach time, pool time, leg time, arm time, whatever time, skin time, I'll be using this bad boy. And I got this from uh, Cosmo Pro. Um, but you can get it online, and who else sells this? I don't know. Somebody else sell it. I don't know, but I got this from Cosmo Pro. If you're a hairstylist, you know what Cosmo Pro is. This is where I got this from. So I went on Hot Look. If you guys don't know about Hot Look, no, not right now. If you guys don't know about Hot Look, Hot Look is a website that basically sells clothes, shoes, beauty products, furniture kid stuff whatever you want whatever under the sun uh it's nordstrom's rack or nordstrom's and some other stores don't quote me on it but this is where i got these palettes these are the juvia's place palettes and they had a sale going on and your girl picked up all three or not all three because she has more of them i think it's like four or five palettes total but i picked up these three this is the nubian two palette this is the Nubian palette, and this is the Masquerade palette. I already swatched them. Y'all know I can't hold it. When I get it in, I got to open it. I got these yesterday. Ordered them from Hot Look probably the last week of February. It's probably on like the 23rd or 24th or something like that. Um, but this is what they look like. On the inside beautiful colors like these are absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so this one is the Nubian 2 palette Let me put my little insert back in there this is the Nubian 2 and then this is the Nubian and that's how that one looks it's so pretty oh my gosh this is like these palettes I'm about to be using these bad boys ah. I have so many palettes, I don't even use them all, but I think that's because I got a makeup addiction. I don't know. But then this right here is a masquerade palette, and I thought that I was getting a big masquerade palette. I didn't even know that they had a mini, but it was the same exact price, but I ended up getting a mini, which I'm kind of glad I did get the mini because the big, I mean, the normal one was like really, really big, and I ain't got nowhere to store it. And all my makeup things is like completely stocked up. So really, I don't even know where the hell I'm going to put any of this stuff. But I'm going to work it out. I'm going to work it out. But, um, but yeah, I got those three palettes. And they are not on sale anymore. Unfortunately, I'm so sorry. If you want the palettes, you're going to have to go to Juvia's Place's website. And I think they're like 20, they're between 24 and 29 or 30 or something dollars. I got these for $19.99. All three of them for $19.99 each. Not all three total, but each one were was $19.99. So yeah. <laughs> I got the hook up on that one. Yeah, you dig? So, hair products. I, uh... Did I mention this in one of my videos? I think I mentioned this in a video, but I didn't post it. For some reason, I can't remember. But anyway, so I have subscribed to the Influencer... It's not really a subscription service, but Influencer is like a website where you can go online and then you fill out surveys of, um just different you know you just fill out surveys and if you qualify for a box a box a box or whatever the, bo the box is called they will send you out a box and they sent me out this box and inside this box i got this product which was the sample of what i actually went to Sephora and picked up the full size but this is the madam cj walker beauty culture softening and silkening brassica sea oil it conditions it has a beautiful magnificent scent and it adds shine to your hair so this is the full bottle this ran me about 26 dollars or something 26 27 bucks but this is what it looks like and i put this in my hair when it's wet i put it in when it's dry i have not pressed my hair out and tried this out to see what it looks i meant to see how it looks if it helps if it benefits or anything like that because i really don't like to heat style my hair but you know i'll do it every once in a while but when i tell you that this stuff smell like oh my goodness you will want to wear this as a full body oil it smells so good it says that it smells like um a tempting blend of spun sugar and red velvet cream 
I don't even eat red velvet cake, but it smells good. This smells delicious. If you have not smelled this, even if you don't want to spend the money on it, go to Sephora and ask them if you can smell it. I guarantee you, if you don't want to buy it, you might buy it right then because it smells good. Oh, it smells good. So that's for hair. And then I also picked up these three items, which is from the same brand. And it is the brand Curls. I picked this up from Target. And really, I got this for my daughter, but we kind of use the same hair products. So I'll be using it too. But the first one that I got is the Curls Goddess Curls Botanical Gel or Jelly. And I use this on my daughter's hair. I'll show y'all her hair. She messed it up, of course, because she hard-headed. She got to, She does what she wants to do. She took a little headband off, and then her car seat smashed her hair into a box. I'm gonna show you what it looks like anyway. But I put this in her hair. I use this. I use the Curls Lavish Curls Moisturizer. It's a second curl refresher daily leave-in. I use this on her hair, and then I also use the Curls uh, Passion Fruit Curl Control Paste, and I use this on my little edges too but come here Lonnie come on girl this stuff made her hair super soft and I use this in conjunction with one other product it is yeah okay so y'all see how her hair is like smashed on the sides yeah and then her headband is gone and all that but anyway it made her curls really really soft they were more defined but of course when you pull at them they just spread apart and her hair is really soft and really fine so yeah but it definitely helped with her curl it made her hair extremely soft and it's just a really really they were really really good product so I'm gonna use them on my hair too to see how my twist downs turn when I use them but my camera is getting ready to overheat so let me go ahead and close this out those are all the products that I got from my haul and I will link everything down below if you like videos like this make sure you let me know uh, leave a comment Comment down below give me a thumbs up um if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so i would really 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 appreciate it and i would love for you guys to be a part of the bronze baby family i already told y'all that's the new name bronze babies i would love for y'all to be a part of the family and all that good stuff i don't want the camera to cut off on me so peace now see y'all next time god bless